in the bustling markets of the world where currencies jostle for supremacy. The story of purchasing power paints a vivid picture of economic landscapes. Amidst this backdrop, the rise of India as an economic powerhouse shines brightly, offering consumers a taste of prosperity unparalleled in many other nations. But the question being, could the economics of prosperity translate to votes for the incumbent government? Our next report gets you the answer. Take a look. India is one of the fastest growing major economies in the world. But it is not just the consumers' wallets that are growing, but also their ability to buy goods and services. Take for instance, the humble bottle of cola, a simple commodity that reveals a stark contrast in affordability across nations. While consumers in the UK, Germany and Japan shell out $1.5 to $2 for a 500 ml bottle, this summer in India, the same refreshment costs less than $0.25. Such a dramatic difference in pricing underscores the formidable purchasing power enjoyed by Indian consumers. A latest report from the Social Policy Research Foundation paints a striking picture of India's economic prowess, revealing that the Indian economy, when measured by GDP purchasing power parity, stands taller than most developed economies. As India's GDP surges, so does the purchasing power of its citizens. That translates to Indian consumers enjoying a lifestyle which was once reserved for the elite in Western nations. With India heading towards elections, this economic strength becomes even more crucial. A strong economy with high purchasing power can be a powerful motivator for voters. The ability to afford basic necessities and even a few luxuries is a key factor for many when casting their ballots. So, will more purchasing power parity translate to more votes for the incumbent government? Bureau Report, Vyond World is One.